Welcome back to the channel. Today we'll be discussing basically how to perfect shield or parry. Uh, it's fairly simple. It, it can be difficult at times if you're really playing an intense match and you're not really thinking about it. And it can sometimes happen just randomly if you happen to get lucky. But there's actually a way to ensure that you get this more often, frequently, and usually if you're good enough you can basically do it at will. So let's get into this video really quick. First off, we're going to have Pikachu and Captain Falcon. We chose Pikachu because Pikachu has a very simple neutral special. What we're going to be doing is we're going to separate ourselves, have the Pikachu do that move, and slowly start to try to parry. So the way you parry is, as soon as the projectile is just fixing to hit you, you release shield. Not as it hits you, but kind of like, like I'm talking like, 0.1 of a second release. It's 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 a very hard thing to time, but eventually you get so used to it that it becomes second nature. After doing that, you will switch over to Falco because Falco has a very similar move to Pikachu, where it's just linear, and try to parry that. It's a little bit faster, but after a while, you should get used to it and be able to parry that as well. You don't have to choose Falcon. I just happen to choose him because I feel like he's kind of simple one to work with. Not like Pikachu. You don't want to have it. You know the. Uh, the laser go under you or something you know something so like silly like that so i figured falcon maybe joker is another good pick since, since they're just basically humanoid in nature easy to see the shield after doing that you will switch over to fox because fox has a very similar move to falco's except fox is way faster so you will now set him to neutral special and see how many times you can parry that there are four steps and this is actually the third one so by now you should be getting pretty used to parrying it's fairly simple at this point so the only way to improve your parrying ability now is to basically go back to Pikachu. You can start over with Falco or Fox, whoever you really want, but I choose to go back to Pikachu and set multiple different CPUs. Start with two, see if you can do it easily. And you will also set the behavior back to neutral B. So now you have two coming at you once and you will see if you can do it twice in a row and then again and again and again. And hopefully you will become accustomed to that to where you can actually set three CPUs, which is a little bit more tricky. You probably won't see that very often unless you have three friends going for you at the same time, but eventually you'll be able to parry all three of those, and then you can go back to Fox or Falco or really anybody else. I suggest choosing those three CPUs though, because choosing someone like maybe a pit or a dark pit it just seems kind of difficult mainly because pit and dark pit like they like to stall their arrows and they really don't want to waste time with your training and this seems to be the quickest way for me but i'd love to know what you guys think in the comments below like share and subscribe and i want to thank you guys so much for watching